Nigeria, my name is K Solo, I'm a music producer. I think I think one of the reason one of one of one of the major things I think has been the issue is the fact that um, there's so much hunger in the industry, and um, the hunger is not just the hunger of uh, just the natural hunger. The hunger is uh, is actually stipulated or man or 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 uh, let me use the word reading by the fact that most um, most OAPs, most journalists right now cannot think outside the box to actually understand that it's good. We understand that the country is not is bad, but which other way can you make money for yourself, fix your family and all that? So they believe that once you have your money, you get it done. And you find that those guys that actually have the money are those ones that are less talented. Let me use that word. You know, that's the reason why I found out that there's less more less of um less of um, of great songs than Good songs. A few good songs are artists. You find them, find, find them from artists that actually sign on that big names, big stars, and all that, you know. But the major ones that actually everywhere that have the money to throw around, that you find on the on 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 find like you listen to radio, you hear them most of often time that actually drain the industry. Are those ones that have money, and this is in in a, this is an effect from the journalists. This is an effect from the OAPs. They are the one. Are the problem, I've said this over time, and I'll keep saying it until on the change is being done. They are the problems we are having, because trust me, at the time we started the, in the industry, uh, we have few journalists, but reputable journalists. They, they add levels, they add that their name opens opens the way. But now journalists have made themselves so cheap. You see, you see, you see an artist, you know, water down an artist, a young a young artist just water because it looks like, like I pay your it pays your bills. Some of them it pays their house our rent. Some it pays for their, you know. So those 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 are exactly watered down the levels and the leverage which journalists have. They've forgotten that they have the power for paper to write, and they have the power on radio to speak and on TV you speak. What you speak is what the world listens to and yeah, believe you know. So they've watered down their their relevancy because of what they want to eat. Not every they are the one killing the industry. Because trust me, there used to be a time that when you bring a song to someone like Olisa. Well, Lisa plays your song and calls you the next day, bro. This song can't fly. You hear people like you know, for me, your dad will tell you that man, this video, I like this song, but the video is not good. Please, can you go improve on it? This thing can't fly. You hear names, you know, the same thing to, to 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 Auntie Mo, you know, like that, you know, to even to the likes of DJ Bombastic and rest of them to to Kwame, you know, you hear those words like man, that this thing can't fly. You get so what. The point is, we've watered down on it because um, everything still revolves around the, 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 the entertainment, the, the, the journalists. Let me, I don't want to call journalists, because when I say journalists, journalists always feel that the writers alone. You know, I'm going to use uh, broadcasters, you know, I want to join everybody together. Journalists, the OAPs on air and on, on TV, they are the problems that they want killing the industry because it's not about me. It's about, they are the, actually the main, they are the source to pass the to convey the music to the fans, to the world, to make us okay. They're the one that can talk about you and make you know. It's like it's like when 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 a friend of a, a friend of mine released a song recently and it was published on a big journal in America and it took it so big in his head in Nigeria. Call any daily. You just you just sit and just what either. Oh, thank you, and they walk away. They hardly even post it because you know what? Because they didn't work to get that stuff. Most of those stuffs on the paper were paid for. So what you pay for, you don't you don't even you don't you don't rep it. How can they owe this day or conscience paper put give you a column and you just you just you just give him a thumb, thumbs up. Then then uh, what's the name? Then the Times. Times in 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 in, in, U, in America in U, in US give you just a small spot like this. You will post it for five days. <laughs> because this is a value, you know, so we've watered on our value. And so it's the journalists, it's the broadcasters, it's the OAPs that need to fix this part. These are the people that actually made us this low. So if an artist comes to me and I say, man, you're not, you don't have the thing, I believe. You just look at it like, who the hell is this case? Go, go, go. You just go look for one small new producer somewhere. Finish the song, then you go and meet. And OAP, AOP, OAP, AOP will be telling that person that, I don't mind case you go, 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 go meet um, one young journal. You know, he just, he just mentions different names. Go and walk and bring the song, we'll play for you. Knowing full well that it's not just playing the song, the song is good. 
He's playing this song because he's being paid to play this song. So these are the it's just you guys that have actually watered it. And I'm so I'm so sorry to say this, but that's the truth. Not all. Dotton is another factual person that I've not met in my life that you know I've monitored it as I've worked with his career all the way till when you know when he was working on that uh, when he was still on that um, uh, freeze you know you know I he's somebody that stands his ground you know it's not what you want to give to him you get so if you actually do a payroll at, at the end of the day it's just going to be like a sub you know but not I'm playing your song because you're paying me I've heard that over time. There was a time a, a journalist called and almost sounded insultive. And I found out that journalist is somebody that um, has always been on the hype roll for Don Jazzy for a long time. You know, when the tree had me, I was upset that I had to treat back at, at, at him. Like, if you say there's no it coming from me, then there's definitely no it coming from Don Jazzy or probably a Cobams because those are clearly who I can leverage myself on. Because trust me, you can't be giving Don Jazzy a hype all the time. And when, between me and you, we know that it's been a while that there's a major banger. It's, you get what I'm saying? It's not like it's not working as well. You get so. But why should you always throw shit at somebody like us? Because we've decided to be on a low key or decided to respect ourselves or we do not choose social media influencers as part of our part of our, our, our career, you know? So, but Don Jazzy does a lot of, of influencing, you get, directly or indirectly, you know? So, you, you, and, and, and I won't lie, I know he has a very strong team that, you know, if you haven't broke, you can walk up to them, they can still help you, you know, those kind of stuff. But, you know, they had a good platform from the beginning. We had no platform. You get, I was, I'm, from, I'm, I'm that young boy from the dust that had a very good family, a big home, you know, but chose music. But my family didn't support my music career, you know, so I, I hustled my way to the top. So because of that, that, that fact, I, I... I had no support so all i am today is just my also and god you know so i had no back i had no backups you know so when they threw that to me and i threw that that back to the journalist and they, they made it so big like maybe i was having a beef with don just i would never you understand because the love i've had for me for him it has been a long time even as a when it was not very not everywhere you know so and um the same question you're asking now the industry has grown big and i always say to a lot of people that to a very large extent i've conquered nigeria i just want to take my brand out of nigeria which i've been able to succeed for. i've been able to do as in i've been able to cut across at least to east africa and that a lot of kenya artists i'm working with tanzania and south africa you know so it's a major one for me i just always want to grow 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 but one thing i can show um, i can assure you is that you can't come to nigeria and mention my name and nobody knows my name so i don't see it but a lot of nigerian artists and producers see this job as a competitive job it shouldn't be it should be what should fulfill you a fulfilling job is what you should it's like what it's, it's like what kabasa said to Olamide some some week from weeks back that i saw him said he like you know he like he has created he has built you he's happy that you're actually trading on that same way you are building people people are growing like it's not possible for him to build the whole world he can only influence one or two which Olamide was one, one of, of the few he influenced now Olamide is influencing people as a fire boy now so someday to fireball will grow too i hope he can continue with the legacy that's how it works you know, so I feel that that's the major thing that people did not actually they don't get. So when you say you're not here in Kesolo, ah, I'm 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 sad to say this. I'm going to say this again. As that when the Kesolo was all over your years, I probably would say I'm not. I wasn't making enough money. I wasn't making enough. I was just enjoying. There was so much hype and media media hype everywhere. You know, so now at the point where the people felt they were actually not listening to Kesolo like before. Is when I can say that I have money. It's when I can say that I've invested money into this, into that, into this. You know, so there was nothing of that then. I was just always in the studio working for money tonight, working for money tonight. Now, if I'm working, I'm working on the target. You know, I'm working on the project. I'm working on what is beneficiary to me and my career, not just those days that you just get into the, you know, and a day you do like six tracks. I'm like, now I ask myself that what's happening? <laughs> what, what actually happened? You know, so, but you know, it's just the vibe. You know, I still do my job back to back. A lot of adverts still flying on air. I don't want to give apps, apps to all the, the, the companies. I've, I do. I still do a lot of, even to some companies that are actually running the adverts on Big Brother right now. Right now, I did a lot of adverts for them. So, I have not stopped doing what I love to do, and this is what I do, and this is what I do for a living. You know, so 
trust me i'm actively working and for people who actually see that because you're not working with when you don't work with a particular artist you've been working for a long time at the particular time again they feel like it's a problem or something is going wrong no at times most artists are greedy themselves you know when they look at you like oh for me to go and make case and pay case 500,000 to do a job i'd rather go and look for one small boy that is coming up and they will be able to toss him with the 20,000 naira and toss him that 20,000 naira is a big deal for the artist but the fa fact that he had to leave his own parents house and move into the house most of those producers live in the artist's houses but trust me i'm a family man when i'm in a family man not just a family man, a responsible man you get so i i can't leave my home and be chasing after an artist i can't leave my home and be and be running after an artist not because i just respect or because i am proud you understand but there's a lot in my front i said this on 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 an interview sometimes ago i said Olamide is doing very fine. You can say Olamide owns the house, owns that house, owns that filling station. But you, as a producer, can you say this is what I own? Can you say this is what I own? It's a selfish industry. You understand what I'm saying? So, but I, it's, it's sad that the artists, the producers you want to talk for on their behalf, they don't actually appreciate it. They look at it like, go and sit down. But it will dawn on you soon. We can say, if the industry was this very fine and big when we started, I'm sure that I'd probably be living in the skyscrapers. You know, but as a then that we're actually eating from hand to mouth, we could still build house. We could still buy cars that we can drive, not just cars, as in real cars, machine, you know, so, and this same music. So, what about you guys that are actually doing this now? All most young boys are doing nice. I'm sorry to say, I want to say it on the, I'm saying, I'm saying it in the wrong, I, I want to say it this way, like, I tell like young boys as the only thing your hypes have brought you is to sleep with all these, all these girls. We had a lot of them too now. But the point is, this girl just takes you out and you feel you are raining. One girl is fighting over you, another person sleeping with you. That's all it brings for you. But you should now, at when you're working now, your head should be tuned to money. Get any money you can get. Because trust me, at our time, we're not much. So we last so long. But now, a producer will do a song, two, eat, three, eat. At the end of the day, bam, it's gone. Another one has arised again. Plam. You see how the artist will run to that one again. Brrr. You turn second hand, you know, so, and when they are running already, you've not even built a foundation for yourself. You don't even have, you have no, you have no catalog, you know, so it's a major one. So it's not like I've not been working, but you know, I've been more, uh, more intentional in my jobs now than what it has always been. At the time it was a wire. At that time, I was very stupid. Let me first start with that word. Stupid, like, you know. I was I was afraid of not letting a lot in lose or break or be afraid of keeping the name and all that. I found at the end of the day that you can't keep that name. He who has given you the name is the one that can keep it, which is God, you know. And I understood that at long run. And finally I found out that, you know, if you've not gotten to your crossroad to who actually loves you, who is afraid of making you fall, you are definitely going to be facing a lot of ups and downs. But when you marry somebody that oh you are in love or you're in a relationship with somebody that cares about your career and looks at you like please don't go out with that clothes that clothes doesn't look good on you you know someone that is more afraid of your career than you then you are sure of your you're sure of what you're doing i have that person i have that person to the point that even as i'm coming for this interview it's like someone's telling you like are you sure you want to wear that top don't, don't tell you want to change it i'm like is it dirty it's not dirty now i just took it this money eh, no but but you know that it's for the camera now you know saying that and i'm like okay yes i know it's for the camera but yeah this looks on the camera and like, you know so somebody who actually cares to the extreme for you so these are the kind of person that i feel i i i lacked in the beginning that has prone to pull me close to the to the world in a negative like you know that people that did not actually um like me or understand me for who i am you know but trust is a better life is a better life i i tell you the truth is a better life you know ah baje baje you know as in you know when when you're outside and you want to run home you just find somewhere you want to just go chill i am just at that spot you know so, which is a very good one for me you know and that's what i pray for every other artist to have it's not always easy most times we must have had a lot of ups and downs before we find ourselves in that situation like me what actually broke it in a different like to the industry is marital problem i never had made any issue that was the marital problem that brought the major issues between me and my fan base that actually gave us a you know but at the end of the day like i said the real fans still remain and these are the ones that are still living and liking me go check my page 
you get you see a lot of them there you know so and we're not it's those years that we'll, people actually will be we, we need the validation for people to be to live life to enjoy to be well no validation needed again now we're fine we're good clever works with me and um, padrange talks to me and Timaya we're actually working i've told you like um, i i run away from I used to feel like validation from the from the media is everything, you know. It's not all. It's not it again, you know. I've grown past the level which everything has to be newsworthy. I don't need it for Nigeria industry, especially because it's all fake, you know. We fake in the, we fake news. We do all that every time. So I've grown to that point that I don't need the validation from any one of them. One, then two. If um, a particular artist decides not to work with you, I don't think there's any crime in it. You know, I don't think there's any crime in it because every artist that actually worked with Dr. Dre from the beginning of his career, not all of them are working with him again. So, would you say he did something wrong too? You know, uh, Ricardo Bank was working with Don Jazzy for a very long time. He's no more. This is one of their own years of relationship can be defined like four years, five years, and it was over. You know, now for me and Timaya was over ten de- it, a decade, over ten years before we stopped working. So, <sighs> Yoruba says a proverb. They said which means that 10 friends cannot play together for 10 years they would definitely go separate way they grow different things take them away you know this one marries and goes to another country this one you know so they just find a way to how we actually relate to themselves you get like i said to you some artists um in their self they have this dominatory spirit that they want you to always be around them like and uh, let's roll together but you know once you have a vision most times your vision does not tally with people it's the same thing that is applicable to a journalist too that reports for a particular company you know and you've been there for years donkey years and end of the day you can't probably say this is what's happening in your career but at the end of the day you know that you've gone out to fetch for for stories do this and all that and one day you chose like oh man i think i want to start off something for myself then somebody is not looking at you and like why are you not working with this person again why must this person and if you stop working for a company it does not mean that company should fold up you understand? It's time for you to actually find your own feet too. And now you are on your own stand. You are pulling your own self. And trust me, this guy is supposed to be your starting point. So for me, I have, I have, I have a vision. If I didn't stop working with Timaya, if, if there was no distance between me and Timaya, Clever J would not come to life. It would never come to life through me, maybe through some other person. But you know, so it's a movement thing. It's a movement thing. I don't think I should be stuck to you for life. Aside the fact that good, we are fine, we are working, we are working, we are, we are working on, on, on an EP together. But that's by the way. But you know, like I would say to him to himself, like, guy, it's good that you moved. Because the movement you, you actually did helped you learn. You know, you first signed with Black Body. Black Body ripped you off, almost damaged your career. You need, because, you know, you went to Europe tours, you nearly died, you know. Plenty of stories that never got on the, on, on the, on the, on the, on the papers that I know, that we know, you know. So... It, it, it taught me him to be who he is too, you know. So, and over the blues, you just wake up. I just sleep in, and I just see my call, my phone ringing. I'm like, hello, who's this? And I'm like, it's Timaya, guy alpha now. We need to see. You get what I'm saying? So, in such cases, would you pick up your phone and act like? I'm sorry, let me use the example. Act like Baba Jebu and Kashamu, the guy that died. I quickly go and pick up your phone and start recording. Like, Timaya, are you sure you're not calling me? Are you sure you actually sorry? Are you sure you you know? I don't need to do that. You understand what I'm saying? I always tell people there's guilt that lives in every man that kills us behind our walls that the walls do not see. So you go outside to the world and claim to be who you are. It lives inside of you. You are dying inside. You know. You are not fine. That you know. You get so. But for me, I'm very good with everybody. As in very good. You pick up a phone like come like Pam. Like once I say I will shout. You get what I'm saying? That's the love I have because you trust me. Like I say to a lot of people. Music is what I want to do for life and what I've been doing. But trust me, if music ceases today, Kesolo will keep it existing. You know, which is 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 a proud is a proud look to the freight of everybody that I can see. You know, because you trust me, if you've not been here in Kesolo for a while, I ask to see him this large, you'll be like, ah. some people have actually been thinking that oh, maybe he's been doing Yahoo by the side. It's your own cup of tea, is Yahoo. You to join me now if it's Yahoo. But the point is this: without music. Definitely, I'm going to be flourishing. I'm still going to be fine. So, let's let's let the lawyer people get this eight 
and this thinking like hey, because you're not working this person you have a problem with it. i don't have a problem with anybody in fact as i'm like this Yes, because it was not an experiment. The point is, I'm a producer, bona fide producer. You get what I'm saying? I love, I love. See, music production is is wide. It's 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 not it's not child's play. You know, for people who actually do it for real. You know, music music production is not is not baby. It's not child's play. It is it is an intentional job. Singing is hard work, you understand? But when you get a particular item in singing, at least you know that you've gotten your voice, you've gotten a style of music and all that. But you see music, music production, every day it revolves, you understand? Every day new gadgets, every day new techniques. You need to just keep moving by the line. So, trust me, it wasn't like I chose to just stop. I won't lie to you, I, for a while I've been, for a few days now I've been like, oh, this Corona, that. During Corona, I couldn't sit down, you know? Because a lot of people feel like just the music production alone. I'm actually into IT too, you get what I'm saying? So, I do a lot of, a lot of that i've been fixing live stream for a lot of companies a lot of you know you know because at least it's what i do by the side too you know so trust me i i'm a music producer to the to the bone and not just a music producer i that's what i won't die for so music singing is 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 love you know so for a while i've been thinking like i think i need to do one or two tracks it's not like i actually went away since after that album i didn't but in a case whereby you have been paid to produce, would I be would I shove your own? I, I, see, I, as I'm like this, I speak to you right now. In two hours now, I'll probably switch up my system and start mixing jobs. Where's the time for my own? So that's what's happening. So, but if I have been doing less of music production, I'm sure that would have had a lot of time for myself. But trust me, I am doing more for myself in times of production. But I'm going to be doing a lot of singing. The singing I'm going to be doing is just, just have fun. But like I said, some people were abusing me one time like that, like said you. I think I, I was making a point on Twitter. You know, Twitter is a, is, is a street whereby everybody there is animals. You know, so uh, for you to actually live in on Twitter, on the street of Twitter, you have to actually act like an animal too. Somebody was finally like, uh, you are talking this and that you, your field career. That's why, you, that's why you're after then you your. Um, you could not you didn't succeed as an artist this and that and somebody fired at that person and i like oh that means you actually even lost your account he's not even a, an artist he's a music producer you get and every artist he has laid on his hand on has been successful so tell me what else you get what i'm saying so i've not been an artist singing is just for the love of it. like i just love it just enjoy the vibe at times i do some beats that i feel like i can vibe on it let me just vibe on it that's it so music's like Performing act, I forget to. It's pop play. It's pop play. Pop play, I see pop play as a magic shan. He, he doesn't know what he carries. I always look at him most times when you see some people address him in a sort of way. I'm like, it's somebody, like, it's somebody that you're supposed to be addressing like a scotch and a tray. That's, why you're, that's how you're supposed to be addressing him, you know? So I, I'm surprised that a lot of people do not address him in, the like, in, in that like, you know? Paul Play is one major person that I feel a lot of Nigerian artists should, be res, should respect. And it's somebody that is a magician. When I mean a magician, Paul can sit down in the studio and start a production for you. And the last, and it might just be like there for like three, four hours, come back to the studio and listen to that stuff. You're like, wow. <sighs> That's the way he does. They do like bang, 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 like that. He don't sound like this, you know. So it's, you know, what lives in him is big, you know. So it's somebody that I actually respect his, um, his craft, respect him as a brother, respect him as a friend, respect him as a father, respect him as a legend. Is is all in or is 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 all together and in is all in all, all ramification is just it's just it's just a music god. That's what I'm gonna call him. So trust me. Paul play, I'm gonna give it to him all the time. I'm gonna give him every day because see, a lot of father, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of son have done their father's song, mm -hmm. but Paul did his father's song too again, and you know it, it still, it still, it still made another hit again out of it, you know. So you know, so it's just that kind of person. When he's doing, when he was doing our life, he was off the hook. Now he's doing R and B. He's still off the hook. <laughs> Ninja, my name is Kay Sulu. I'm a music producer. Shout out. Peace.